Okay. Hi, Mark Arstein. It's um, great to have you here on this podcast with me, Lori Bennett. And I'm down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and I know you're up in Toronto, Canada. So nice to yeah. see you. Nice to see you, Lori. Thank you for having me. I'm, uh, I'm really, it's my pleasure to be here today. Yeah, that's great. Um, how are things going in Toronto for real estate now? It's actually going really well. You would not know there's a pandemic going on up here. Like it's uh, things are really moving almost at a, a normal pace. I mean, we've adapted and we've changed in how we do sell real estate today. Like obviously, there's no more public open houses. Uh, we do a lot of stuff uh, through virtual tours, um, mask and gloves. It's by strict appointment only, and you know people have to sign uh, COVID protocol forms to make sure that they. Um, are safe and healthy before they can enter into the home. But other than that, um, you know, with the low interest rates that we have happening at the moment um, and really low inventory, uh, we're seeing multiple offers, uh, tons of demand. So, uh, so it's been good. That's good. Yeah, I, I noticed that you have only got like a two and a half month supply of inventory. I noticed that in the stats. So that that's amazing. Um, uh, I'm in Fort Lauderdale. So Fort Lauderdale is located in Broward County. Right. But my real estate brokerage is Realty One Group Integrity Florida, and I just came down here right before the uh, pandemic in the very <laughs> end of January to open up this brokerage. But I had been planning it since last year. But um, the market here uh, did get uh, affected quite a bit for a while because the cruise ships and all of that in Fort Lauderdale and um, the uh, mayor, you know, they closed down the beaches and what have you, just like they did in Toronto, they closed down the park. So, you know, but, but still people kept going with real estate. I mean, because it's definitely an essential service in Canada as it well as in, in Florida and the rest of the United States. So we, we did see a bit of a slowdown, but you know, still it's very active. So my brokerage is on the Miami-Dade and the Broward County board. So um, I'm covering from Miami all the way up to Port St. Lucie. So that's past Boca Raton heading north, right? So um, right. covering a large, a large area. So I wanted to share with you, because I know the, um, the average price in Toronto right now, um, it's uh, almost $900,000 for a home, correct? Yeah, about that, yeah. Yeah, and um, in, in in Miami, uh, it's a lot less. Okay, the, so the average price for a home in Miami is five hundred eighty-seven thousand, and that's up ten point eight percent over last year. And that's for a single-family home. And condos are actually averaging price at a five four hundred and seventeen dollars uh, for a, like a, a townhouse or a condo compared to Toronto, which is above 600,000 right now. So, right, right. you know, there's some really good um, properties down here in Florida. And in Fort Lauderdale, the average price is 475,000. And that would be for a single family home. And for a condo, it's as low as 235,000. So, you know, there are parking spaces in Toronto that cost that much, right? <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. Yeah. I know. Yeah, so no, I mean, yeah, a yeah. parking spot in Toronto right now uh, is over a hundred thousand dollars, and especially in downtown, just with the spot. Yeah, it's uh, it's yeah. crazy because I, I I was selling up there for many years, so I I know exactly what you mean. Um, you know, for a lot of Torontonians um, wanting to get away from the the colder weather, uh, Toronto is uh, you know known to coming down to Florida a lot and many Canadians buy real estate in Florida and they particularly buy it between Fort Lauderdale and Miami. And it's actually as high as 22% of all foreign transactions in Florida are from Canadians. Isn't that wow. incredible? Snowbirds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And 48% and of the time they're buying between uh, uh, Fort Lauderdale and Miami. So it's, nice. it's a real sweet spot. Um, and I, I just wanted to, you know, to share with you and the viewers and, you know, your clients and other realtors that might be watching this, that um, I'm, you know, willing to cooperate with other agents at 35%, which is, you know, for a referral fee, and to take really good care of their clients as well. So, you know, if anyone is watching this, and they do have clients uh, that are considering buying in Florida, it's a great place to be. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to share share that with you. So tell so, me. Laura, yeah. a question for you is, so on those condos, uh, I mean, if, if, you know, um, for $250,000, $300,000, um, what kind of rent would you get on something like that? 
Um, the rents are uh, almost close to what you would get for a one bedroom in, in Toronto. So one bedrooms right now here are between 15 and $1,800, depending on the type of property that it is. They might be as over 2000 because in Florida, they have a lot of different types of properties. They have some older condos that were built back in the 80s. And then mm -hmm. they have some newer ones that are basically um, uh, like high-end condos, like in Toronto, they have pools right. and they have outstanding gyms and other amenities. You know, we work spaces similar to a we work space environment. Right. So they're, they're you know, like for a, a, a two bedroom condo in a building like that, you know, you're looking at over three three thousand dollars a month, which is very similar to you know some of the downtown condos, not the ones in Yorkville per se, but some of no. the other ones down in yeah. City Place and what have you. It's very close to being on par, um, and but then they have some really lower end condos that. Um, they don't have any real amenities and they're very outdated. So they do have a like right. two different types of product here in Florida. Yeah. And then do people rent them furnished or, uh, or do they go like Airbnb style? What's typically the trend down there? Um, the trend is uh, many times it's furnished and some of the buildings in Florida, you have to be very careful um, if you are going to be buying as an investor, that you are allowed to in fact rent it and how many times a year you're actually allowed to rent it because some buildings will not allow it uh, anything shorter than a year, okay? Right, there are some right. that will allow four times a year, you can have four different tenants. But the interesting thing here compared to Toronto, when you buy a condo in, uh, in Florida um, or you rent a condo in Florida, the condo management board makes a decision on you being an owner or a tenant there, which is completely different. You know how in Toronto, when you buy a condo, you review the status certificate with your lawyer right. and your agent. And if you like everything, you're okay with it. You pull the trigger and you, you know, you, you sign off on, on the status and you, you have a firm deal here. You have a firm deal, but, and you want the condo, but the board can say they don't like you. <laughs> which is completely different. If they don't think you have good enough credit, if there's, right. if you have a criminal record, um, like they really dig deep into a tenant as well as to an owner of a unit. And even though you want the unit, even if you're making a cash offer, which happens a lot down here, people pay cash for real estate. If the board decides they don't want you in the building, you're not gonna be in the building, no matter how much right. money you have. So that's right. different. Right. Yeah. So, it's, it's, so it runs more like a little bit like a co-op style that we'd have up here. Yes. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. yeah that's a good yeah. a good analogy. It's very much more like a a, a co-op style, and um, there are uh, for houses there are uh, many gated communities here. So the same thing goes with the gated communities. They make a lot of decisions based on who you are. Some of them are um, fifty five plus. And, and you know you cannot rent them out. Um, right. Some of the housing communities, you can't even have like a, a lawn ornament, like a dog, you know, like a, a dog, a ceramic dog or something on your lawn. You're right. not allowed to right. have that. By the way, I love your dog. Oh, thank you. Oh thank my you. goodness, Mark's always posting um, pictures, <laughs> and um, your dog is like epic. I love it. <laughs> what kind well, is it, by the way? Is, what kind of a dog is it? Uh, he's a Bernadoodle, so he's a uh, mix between a Bernese Mountain Dog and a Standard Poodle. So he's just a puppy. He's only uh, 14 weeks old. Uh, actually, as of uh, today, he's 14 weeks. Um, so he's right now crashed right next to me. Uh, <laughs> but uh, so I keep looking down to make sure he's still asleep. Um, but uh, he'll be probably about 80, 85 pounds, we think. So, wow. Yeah, he's yeah. a gorgeous dog. I can see Thank all the you. dogs pictures behind you there too you like dogs but you yeah. see the in, in, interesting thing about florida too is many of the condos you cannot have a pet period like right no right. pets so um that's another thing so when you're buying real estate you have to work with with a, a, a really great agent that knows the market and understands like it yes exactly like me and my team down here for sure yeah yeah. Um, one of the things that I wanted to touch on too, for Canadians buying real estate down here, um, you know, 
there's no t sales tax on, on purchasing here, which is amazing. You pay a, a dock stamp when you go to sell, which is basically a, almost like, it's like a land transfer tax, but that's what the seller pays, but the buyer doesn't pay a tax when they go to buy. But if you're a foreign national, like a Canadian or someone from you know Europe or wherever, if you're not from the United States and you go to right. sell your property down the road, you're going to pay a tax on that sale. But it is a percentage of, of your profits, less the improvements and your commissions that you pay to the agent and your, uh, your title company or right. your, your legal costs. But uh, lawyers and title companies can set you up properly in a LLC or a corporation so that you would buy it in your name, but in the time that you own it, you would set it up to avoid the tax in the end when you go to sell. So that's right. something that I have people down here that um, are very well versed working with Canadians particularly to set uh, Canadians up in an LLC or a corporation so they can avoid having to pay that type of a tax when they go to sell. And it's, it's okay. good for okay. investors as well. Right. Yeah. So basically, basically it's like the, it's like a, almost like a capital gains, so to speak, but you get all the costs associated with the initial purchase to offset and lower that amount down so you're paying as little as possible. Yeah, exactly. It's actually called a FERPTA. That's the name of, that's the name of it. It's called FERPTA. And, um, FERPTA. I, FERPTA, yes. <laughs> and um, uh, the other thing that's really different down here compared to um, people buying in, in Canada is that uh, they, um, you don't use a lawyer to close typically, you use a title company. So right. you have um, your money in escrow and you use a title company and they basically do what in Canada, what most lawyers, what most real estate lawyers do. That's what a title company does here. Right, so right. They okay. check to make sure that there's clear title and you know all the same types of things that a lawyer does. There are lawyers that do do it, but most people don't use them, they use title companies. Right. Yeah, so it's okay. interesting. Yeah. So, um, but in regards to um, uh, Florida, um, have you been down here very often yourself with your family? We, we have. We haven't been down for a while. Last time we were down there was uh, Christmas time. I think that was about uh, three or four years ago. Okay. Um, so I think it was last, it was last time I know it because I think last year we were, where were we last year? Last year we were in Cancun. Year before that, we were in Hawaii, and the year before that, we were in Florida. So it was three years ago. Okay. Well, the um, I know it sounds the, rough, right? <laughs> yeah, it sounds Florida, rough. Hawaii, Cancun. No, uh, that's it's, no, it sounds really nice. Um, yeah. well, they're building a lot. You will see that there's a a, a condo uh, just behind me here. This is a Solomar. And uh, this condo project is uh, uh, one of the condo projects going up in Papano Beach. But there's the waterfront in Florida is really being developed um, all through the, the coast. Um, it's down in Miami, there's a lot of developments going on. But um, in the areas where there weren't so much development, in, even in Fort Lauderdale, there's a lot of uh, condos going up in, in the city right. too. So the skyline is really changing pretty quickly. And um, there's, you know, some really good deals. This uh, condo project just behind me at the Solomar, uh, this is more of a more of one of the higher end condos. But even the per square foot price is really low compared to Toronto. Uh, it's um, like on an average about uh, just under seven hundred dollars a square foot compared to Toronto right now, which it's <laughs> downtown. Thousand, it's, yeah, or plus, thousand, yeah, plus, yeah, plus. Thousand I mean, to eleven hundred dollars a square foot, yeah. Yeah, exactly, so yeah, it's it's yeah. pretty much almost double, right? But the, the, the buildings um, that they're building, the developers are building bigger units to accommodate families that are coming down that might want a property for like six months, you know, um, or to live in permanently. Right. And there are a lot of two bedrooms and three bedrooms but you know, in Toronto, a lot of the two bedrooms are even well under a thousand um, square feet, right? Uh, some, right. some yeah. a lot of them. But it, here, oh, ma like ma ma majority of them. I mean, um, it, it, the, yeah, it's like the more bedrooms, almost they become less square footage. It's uh, you know, the the land in Toronto has become so outrageously expensive that they just try and jam as much as they possibly can 
into like the newer buildings. So you're getting like, you know, two bedrooms and a den in um, 750, 800 square feet. Yeah. Well, the, this, this building behind me here, um, you know, there are two bedrooms for 2,000 square feet. <laughs> wow. And the, the cost of that is 1,350,000. So that's to 1 million nine. There's some, depending on the floor and the layout. Um, but, you know, it's, the three bedrooms are like as, as, as large as, uh, you know, almost 3,000 square feet, if you can believe it, you know, and they're, wow. they're, they're priced at just over 2 million for, for those ones. So, you know, compared to Toronto, it's, it, it, there's a, definitely a good value here. Uh, the uh, U.S. American exchange rate does come into play. Um, I pulled the numbers yesterday. It's right now uh, 134 Canadian to the American dollar, but that fluctuates. Um, since I've right. been down here over the last few months, it's gone as high as um, 146 at one of those days, <laughs> which is, uh, it's a little bit steep when you're coming down, but when you do come down, the value that you get for the real estate, the size, and being having the sun, you know, 365 days, give or take, <laughs> with yeah. minus a few of those hurricanes, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but it's sure. um, yeah. it's certainly uh, you know amazing weather here. Typically, it's in anywhere from the high 70s to the mid 90s most of the time. Um, in Toronto right now, we're recording this on uh, June 11th. So, what what's the weather like there today? Uh, today it's actually, um, it's a bit overcast. Uh, we were really hot and sticky yesterday and then a, we had a big storm last night that came through and, um, so cool things down a little bit. And, um, so it's, uh, but I think it's supposed to be a little bit cooler now going, I think high, well, I'm going to go in Celsius. So it'd be high teens to low twenties. So in Fahrenheit would be, um, what is that? I think mid upper sixties, low seventies. Yeah. So here, here we're basically um, many times, because I have a, um, my car down here has both ser uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit. It's typically over, over 30 Celsius every day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> even in yeah. the morning. <laughs> yeah, no, one of my best friends lives down in Fort Lauderdale uh, that I've known for a gazillion years. And, you know, in the winter, I get nothing but harassment calls all day long. Just want to let you know, um, I'm in my Jeep with the top down, just driving down and it's the middle of December, just, uh, just yeah. to remind you, I'm like, Thanks, thanks, pal. Yeah, it's it's so, pretty nice. So, uh, yeah, yeah I, I I'd love to you know help any anyone of your friends or family or any of the agents or clients watching this video to uh, you know how they can realize some real estate down in Florida quite easily. And um, you know, there's a lot of turnkeys too. Yeah, where oh, yeah. They're, you know they're coming fully furnished. There's a lot of uh, condos where they will furnish them designer wise. So you just get your keys and it's turnkey. And there's a lot of houses right. like that too. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Um, if anyone's watching this, I want to say Lori is, uh, sorry if my phone keeps ringing, um, is an amazing agent. I know Lori for a gazillion years. So I think it's kudos to her that she's gone and done this new venture and she dove right into the Florida market and it's very impressive. So uh, if anyone is looking to buy uh, anything transactional wise down in Florida, she is definitely the person you want to call and reach out to. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Mark. I really appreciate it. I, I've been watching you for years and I know you work at Remax Hallmark. I used to work yeah. for Remax Realtron and I am still yeah. licensed at Royal LePage Signature Realty in Toronto. Um, but um, I've, you know, I've seen your listings i've seen how exceptional of an agent you are and uh, uh, thank you thank you yeah you really are and that's why i wanted to choose to uh to do this podcast with you today and yeah so if anyone has any questions about the market even if you just you know you're not sure you want to even come down and rent something most people that move to florida and buy real estate in florida rent first right it is like there's a it's like more than 50 percent of everyone that comes down rents before they buy here no matter what price point low end high end doesn't matter they usually rent and i have great options so my direct line my cell phone is 954-895-6789 and i'm located in downtown fort lauderdale at 888 east las olas suite 110 i'm on the ground floor so um, I saw I saw the new office looks fantastic. I love all the stuff you're doing down there and uh, the awnings and stuff on the walls. It's uh, 
I could those, screen shots, so. Those, those awnings good. took th over three months to get, I want yeah. to tell you. <laughs> and they didn't want to do it. It was like a fight. <laughs> yeah. I'm but sure, I had a really I'm good sure. company. Hoover Architects were yeah. outstanding to help me. And uh, yeah, so, but. Um, Lori, what's, what's your website? Just if people want to look at the website and see what's going on. Um, we do have a website. It is Realty One Group Integrity Florida. We're revising it. Um, the franchise that I purchased gave us a website. And I wanted to bring up the game of the website. So I've hired a company. So we're working on it. It's so it's very basic, but that's it. It's Realty One Group Integrity Florida dot com. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. All right. Awesome. Well, Mark, um, I can't thank you enough for taking the time today. I know how busy you are. And oh, um, my pleasure. My pleasure. Yeah. So it was a, great to see you and I wish you well and I wish your family well. Okay. Thank you. Likewise, and uh, congrats on the endeavor and nothing but much success. And uh, I know you're going to knock it out of the park. Without a doubt. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye, Mark. Take care. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.